It appears that former President Donald Trump is trying out new nicknames for his possible 2024 rival, Ron DeSantis. Uh, apparently, Ron DeSanctimonious. Not enough. Not good enough. Great. Great. <laughs> All right. So now this is according to a New York Times report by Maggie Haberman and Michael Bender. Uh, Trump apparently is experimenting with harsher attacks against the governor. Uh, governor. Um, they called him smears for some reason. Well, I mean, it's only a smear if it's not true. <laughs> uh, since November, despite the criticism he faced at the time, Mr. Trump has periodically hit out at his potential rival, albeit to a relatively small audience. Hmm, interesting. Uh, now, he posted his most recent innuendo about the governor on True Social, where he has just under 5 million followers. That is where he insulted, I'm sorry, insinuated that Ron DeSantis is a groomer. So that goes back to a picture. We've known about it for a while, uh, where he was partying with high school girls when he was a teacher. He was a teacher for one year, uh, and he would party with the with the high school students. That's weird. And hence when he was in his mid twenties. Uh, okay, super weird, a little creepy. Um, but at the same time, we don't have any evidence that he had actually groomed or slept with uh, high school girls. And so you're going to throw out that groomer insinuation without any evidence. I guess that counts as a smear. All right. So I'm being totally fair, by the way. And I'm not, I'm not somebody who's a fan of Ron DeSantis at all. That said, aside from, uh, you know, the groomer smear, he's coming up with uh, nicknames. And they're pretty bad. So let's just, uh, let's just do that. Shut down Ron. That's one of the nicknames. Mm. Please clap. I don't know about that one. <laughs> so they're shut down, Ron. And of course, that's uh, an, actually, an actual false attack, by the way. Ron DeSantis had, had opened up Florida earlier than the majority of other states. And this has to do with uh, COVID lockdowns. Um, and so... That's just patently wrong, and not the Republicans care about facts, of course. Uh, and the other thing is meatball Ron. I I don't know. It, apparently, at least according to the report, it makes it sound like he thinks that uh, Ron uh, somehow resembles a meatball. It's not a salami sandwich. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. A peach tree dish. <laughs> I really, I really, really don't. Nancy Pelosi's gazpacho police. We're, we're just going to do all this food stuff, okay? I don't, I don't quite get it. Uh, it's meatball run. You might want to go back to the drawing board on that one, okay? Uh, but here's the thing. So that's what Trump does. He comes out and he makes up nicknames. I mean, some of them are uh, actually kind of uh, entertaining. Like, for example, little Marco. When he's able to uh, emasculate uh, Marco Rubio. That's fun. But has he lost it with Ron DeSantis? Uh, has he lost the magic? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe he'll come up with something slightly more interesting or clever than Meatball Ron. Because, again, I just, I just don't get it. I don't understand. A lot of people like meatballs. What's wrong with a meatball? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but what I do know is if Ron DeSantis, if he continues to not hit back at Trump, well, there's going to be some problems. Okay. Uh, and, and again, his response to the previous uh, smear, the, the allegation, the insinuation that he's a groomer, which by the way, I enjoy because it's the chickens coming home to roost. Yes, I know it's false. But then again, uh, Ron DeSantis has been falsely uh, defaming teachers and LGBTQ people in Florida as groomers for all this time. So it's kind of funny to see it, you know, his weapon be turned back against him. Fun. I like it. That said, he is uh, trying to do this thing. Whereas, uh, you know, it, he'll come out and say things like, I am too busy delivering the, res uh, the results for the people of Florida. 
that's in response to being called a literal pedophile. You ain't got balls, son. That's that's what that tells me. Oh, you're not gonna swing back. You're gonna fight back. Well, that just means you're a beta, beta bear. Not gonna fight back. What are you doing, Ron? What are you doing? No, hit him, hit him back. It sounds like there isn't plenty of material. There is. No, he's choosing not to fight back because he's afraid. He's afraid. And look, everyone who decided to do this route of I'm staying above the fray, I'm not going to engage Donald Trump in these childish name-calling games. No, I'm going to stand above. What happened to them? Oh, right. They got obliterated one by one. One of them being, of course, please clap. Jeb Bush. I know we all thought, uh, and at least not all of us, but um, a lot of us thought uh, back in 2016, Donald Trump would never get the nomination. It'd be somebody like Jeb Bush or Marco Rubio. Uh, and then uh, Donald Trump uh, came around and he Donkey Kong them all in the head and uh, he became the nominee. It's antics like this that got him the, the Republican nomination. And so Ron DeSantis, what he's doing is the same thing that all the other people who were against Trump tried to do and failed. So that doesn't necessarily mean that, of course, Trump has it in the bag or that Ron DeSantis is going to lose. Again, the primary is very, very far away. But at the same time, you're going to try the same strategy that failed the last time. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be successful. Just saying. No, look, here's the thing. The only thing person that I believe is going to be able to dethrone somebody like Donald Trump is someone like Donald Trump. <laughs> um, that's if Trump doesn't dethrone himself first. Okay. Uh, and by the way, this is going back to the uh, article where a lot of Republicans behind the scenes are like, oh, the only way we're going to get rid of this guy is when he keels over. That, that's it. We're just waiting for him to die. Well, okay. Um, as, uh, you know, it, y you're going to have to probably wait a while then, which is fine by me. If, if they keep losing, that's all I care about. Uh, I'm not in it for Republicans to win, you know. Uh, but at the same time, um, if they do try to find someone to take on Donald Trump, well, they're going to have to be entertaining, for one. They're going to have to be effective at fighting the culture wars. Like uh, Again, Ron DeSantis is effective at fighting the culture wars, but he's not entertaining at all. He's got no charisma. And so, yes, you, you do have some pieces of what would be, you know, uh, something to take on Donald Trump, but no one candidate has all of those different things combined. And by the way, some of the things... Uh, uh, I should say a lot of the traits you would need to take down Donald Trump in a Republican primary, by the way, I'm just talking Republican primary, um, are things that would uh, make them lose a general election as well. <laughs> so let's be fair about that. But so, look, none of the Republicans that we have in the GOP establishment are going to be able to take on Donald Trump. I don't see anybody in in the Republican Party that comes uh, close, that, that can actually... Um, get the MAGA base the same way that Trump has. And so, look, they've got to be charismatic. They've got to be, a, a, a at least rhetoric-wise, a populist, somebody who's going to claim to take on the establishment who are against the so-called corporations uh, and the culture wars, and, of course, strength. Strength. Now, it, it, of course, it's it, not traditional strength. In their minds, and, and I'm talking Republicans here, Strength is being able to humiliate their opponents, uh, Democrats, for example, right? But also people like Mitch McConnell. They have to be out there to humiliate them and to get those feel-good wins, you know? And, and that's what it also comes down to, a win. They're looking for someone who will win. Now, what counts against Donald Trump is the fact that Donald Trump's a two-time loser. He lost uh, the, the presidency, uh, in 2020 and hasn't stopped uh, bitching and complaining about it. And, oh, voter fraud, voter fraud, so much fraud everywhere. They stood up for me. 
okay, that's whining and crying, and that, of course, makes you look super weak. Whereas Ron DeSantis, his advantage is, well, he won his election, but again, it, this is in Florida. But he doesn't have any of that charisma, doesn't have anything like that, but he does have culture war wins. So, look, this is interesting. I think that if Trump dropped the crying about the election, the crying, whining, bitching, complaining, etc., and went full on the attack, like he did back in 2016, and said, I'm the outsider, Republican establishment is terrible, political corruption is bad, and I'm going to fight against that, and then tied Ron DeSantis into all of that, I think that would be an effective attack. Again, DeSantis is a member of the Republican establishment. He is being backed by the billionaires. You have uh, the Koch organization who's looking at funding anyone who challenges Donald Trump. Rupert Mur Mur Murdoch, of course, uh, is against him. That means Fox News uh, and other uh, Murdoch-owned uh, publications are going to be uh, attacking him as well and already are. And, of course, um, with that, uh, Trump could make the accusation that uh, Ron DeSantis is another establishment stooge. Now, add in the fact, by the way, now that Donald Trump's back on Facebook. He's back on Facebook and uh, he's has the option of going back on Twitter. So over the past couple of years, he has not been on those social media platforms, which has limited his reach. Now he's, he's coming back and hasn't been uh, back on Twitter yet, but once he what, and you know he's not going to be able to help himself. He's back on Twitter. Uh oh. Worry for Ron DeSantis, except I don't, because I don't care. Uh, all right. So now again, um, DeSantis has uh, a lot of things that are working against him as well that Donald Trump could try to capitalize on. For example, uh, DeSantis wanted to cut Medicare and Social Security. Now Donald Trump said the same thing. But then he had also had previous positions where he's like, oh, I'm gonna, no, Medicare, Social Security, don't touch it. So Trump has material to work with. DeSantis has material to work with. And um, the thing is, how long is Ron DeSantis going to stay or attempt to stay above the fray? I don't think he's going to be able to do it for that long. I mean, yes, right now, sure. But what about in the debate stage? That's where Donald Trump is most devastating. And again, it, a lot of it, it, the debates are all performative. So if we're talking performance, well, you're going to obviously uh, want to see the showman in action. And that's what Donald Trump is. He's the showman. And it's very, very uh, likely that he's going to crush Ron DeSantis in a debate, just optics wise, because it's not going to be about policy. It's going to be about who's going to lob the most successful attacks and who's going to own who. And I guarantee you, Donald Trump is not going to be there to play patty cakes. So we're going to see then if Meatball Ron has any fight in him. 